Tessa Tour alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the welterweight division. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. All right, let's go. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Expresses impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Not able to land the uppercut. Little head hunting with the left. There's a straight right hand. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the head shot. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Unable to score with the hook. A good block halfway through this round here. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Blocks that punch. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say, when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. When he misses with a punch, count him. Here you go. The jab works good when you use it. You don't use it enough. Jab, jab. Here we go. Round two is underway. Not able to land the headshot. Come on, get And he ties up on the inside. 
Express's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. He clinches when he gets to the inside. And a smart counterpunch by Express. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Ninety seconds to go here in this round. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Finish with the hook. It's work in the body. In the ring. Ties. Blocks that punch. Digging in with a left to the gut. Big, powerful hook. Nice. Wow, is he defensively sound. Express is able to land a good, solid left hand. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. The fight in this rhythm, okay? Don't fight. You don't need that. Throw that away. Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Three no. more punches. Jab, jab, jab. Hook, jab, jab, jab. Hook, hook, hook. Head to the body. Head to the body. Head to the body. Jab, jab. Hook. And round number three is underway. Pistol's punch is far off the target. He thinks of himself as a home run hitter, Teddy, but he's been striking out tonight. And he looks like a pitcher who's lost complete sight of the catcher's mid. I mean, he cannot throw a strike. Good flush shot upstairs. Pistol's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Keep working the body. Guard up. Express has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Pistol's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. 
able to get away from that headshot with the block. Really frustrating his opponent now. Express is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. There you go. down the final moments of this round. Pistol's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. And that's the end of round three. That's it. Throw him off with that move. Don't get careless, okay? Don't fight his fight. We got it. All right. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that. No, throw that away. Express is up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. I'm going to see some combos. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Well-timed by Express. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. seconds to go in round number four. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Nice! Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Keep working the body. And he engages in the clinch. <laughs> and he decides to tie up again. Keep moving. Keep moving. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Seconds to go in the fourth. Oh, and there you go. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. the bell.
hell? That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying, cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head. Nice. He can't handle the speed. It's too much for him. Keep it up. Keep it up. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Pistols reach that fork in the road now. You get a moment to breathe, a moment to try to clear your head after being knocked down, and it's Protect up to yourself. your mind, your body, your disposition as to how do you react and go forward. He just missed that shot up top. Pistols got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like the fact he's willing to throw, but he needs to land it. Yeah, he needs to calm down and think more. Solid left hand to the head. You're doing great. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had, look at that. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Nice. Headbutt, headbutt. He missed that uppercut. Halfway into round number five here. Pistols looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. that attack. Pistol's well off the mark that time. There you go. Let's see some more head movement. Let's see some more head movement. Get out of the way. Hello. Beat him to the front. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Come on, kid, folks. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. to win. And we are underway with the second half of this fight. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Hit the body! Well, 
Supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. <laughs> Express has been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Get in there, let's go. I want to see some combos. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Last 10 seconds. You're still not moving enough. Move, move! This round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. Your head from side to side. There you go. I want to see that head move. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking, how much more of this will we see? Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. Express is making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. Miss the body shot. Not much action as he just ties up. Halfway through the seventh round. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right.
And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Expresses defense clearly carrying things right now for him. But what else should he be conscious of beyond just this good footwork we're seeing? Well, the old times would say, hey, you're doing the hard part. You're making a miss. Do the fun part. Make sure he pays. Pistol's punch didn't come close. Solid counter punch by Express. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Express is able to avoid that punch. And the round comes to an end. All right. You have to keep your hands up. This is done. He's done. I'm doing one. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. You got to fight. You got to fight. One more. Okay, let's do this. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him. Beginning of round number eight here. Teddy's scorecard has it in one direction. Express is up on Teddy's scorecard. However, Teddy, I think there is some concern with him. He has taken some damage. Yeah, it's not a day at the beach. He thought it was at the beginning, but that tide is rolling in. Oh, what a whiff by Express. Pistols on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Come on. Express is proving to be elusive. Keep moving, keep moving. Pistols just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. The halfway point of round number eight. Pistol's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. Express is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. I want to see some combos. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. So he takes a breather between rounds after he just took forth more of the same punishment. Teddy, we've been sitting here all night long as he lands these thudding blows. You can just hear the damage landing. Yeah, and I can feel them. Some fluids that I don't really want are coming onto my shirt.
Nice one. Thank you. Keep it up. This guy's never felt a meeting like this. There you go. Keep the pressure up. You have to start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That will put us in position. I got more. I think those 60 seconds served him really well. He looks fresh and ready to go after it here. Gets rid of that body shot. Back to the body. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Face yourself. <laughs> nice. Comes right back at him with a left hand. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. <laughs> Halfway through the ninth round. Pistol's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. He missed with that headshot. And he's holding. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Pistol's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Express is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Nice work. Pistol's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. And that's the end of round nine. Express is in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, He's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't, like in football, go into that prevent defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. One more time, the last round has arrived. Keep your head moving. Defense just covering up down low. Relax, relax. Now he missed that right. You're doing great. Just look at the way he is right now, Teddy. 
pistol's breathing right through his mouth. His mouth's wide open. That's a telltale sign. Yeah, he's spent. I mean, we know what he can't do now. It looks like he can't really throw punches. You know, he can't keep a pace. But what can he do? He can grab on. He can hold. He can get time off the clock. Protecting his head well with his guard. Cover your head. Halfway through this 10th and final round. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Keep moving. Keep moving. Blocks that belt line well. Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. Nice. Work the body. Hit body shot. Pistol swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Move your head. Blocks it away. Seconds of the fight. That was a dominating performance tonight. Yeah, this is one you would think there's no drama in the reading of the scorecards. Let's hear those scorecards and send it up to the ring. So all three judges give him the victory. A very good night by Express. I don't think it was ever a question of who. It was always going to be how. Knockout or decision. You get a good decision here. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.